Welcome to 2071, guys, where people don't really care about your feelings. Just get the hell out of my way. I have places to be. Thank you very much. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today I'm really excited to bring you guys Hyper Train. Now, I just found this one today. It was released yesterday, and I haven't seen anything on it. Uh, I did end up playing it a little bit, and I was blown away by it. It's got a lot of uniqueness to it. Uh, but basically, you're driving a hyper train from point A to point B, delivering cargo people, things like that. You earn money to upgrade your hyper train, and you get the idea. It's a survival game. It's randomly generated, so there's a lot of unique features in this game, at least in my personal opinion. So we're gonna do a new solo play today, and we are going to be named Dre. My uh, train colors, you know what, let's do red and black. You know, I, I feel like I want to look aggressive, and I think that's a good way to do it. The world seed, we're just going to do default. Uh, that's the default world, but you can make your own worlds as well if you do want to. So here we go, generating the world, and uh, yeah, we're going to see how good we can do today being a cargo transportation train. Because I don't think we have any uh, passenger trains at the start. We'll see, though. Let's just get into it. First time visit of Horn. We received a welcome bonus of 600. Well, thank you, Horn. I do appreciate that. And here we are in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I'm your onboard computer, OBC. I'll now guide you through the controls. So there's a really quick tutorial here. Uh, it actually does explain the game really, really quickly. So I'll just keep that on. Uh, yes, of course, we can accelerate this thing. And uh, it's a train, so you can slowly accelerate it. Uh, press D to go to the right lane. So that's kind of our avoidance here. We have to avoid any sort of traffic. If we do hit it, we will damage ourselves. Now we can boost by pressing E. There we go. We got a decent boost that boosted us all the way up to 250. Press and hold space to break. There we go. And there's some of the other people on the road. So you can see, I mean, look at this game. It's beautiful. I love the low poly art style. Very simplistic, but very, very beautiful. My train is equipped with a turret wagon. Oh, there goes a fellow hypercar driver. Actually, not fellow. The, the hypercar drivers in this game, it's kind of like a deadly competition. So, for example, I can shoot that guy if I want to, and he's not going to like that. There he goes. He started moving. He shot back. Oh, he hit me. A little. Stop it. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm doing a tutorial. Okay, he's still freaking hitting me. I should probably actually back up a little bit. Is he... What? Are you a sniper? Like, what the hell? All right, let's go this way. Let's get out of this guy's way a little bit, because uh, I definitely... What the hell? Where are you even shooting from? Are you serious? This guy... Okay. Oh, my... Did I win? Did he win? My game froze. Okay. A turret wagon was damaged. I'm in a freaking tutorial... And I just, uh, well, at least he died too. He kind of deserved that. All right, so now we know don't shoot enemy hyper trains when you're in a tutorial. It actually broke my tutorial, man. I can't even see anymore. But uh, I, I do know what it did, so I'll quickly show you the rest of the stuff that's in this game. First of all, we have obviously different cameras. Oh, never mind. There we go. I did the right thing. That was the next part of the tutorial. Now press B to enter build mode. This is a cool thing that I, I don't really know what it's for yet. But we can build rail, rail segments ourselves. So, for example, maybe if we're in a traffic jam or something, we can actually build the road. And uh, you get the idea. You can add more lanes. And I think if we go ahead here, we just continue building onto this. Uh, I don't know if it uses resources or anything. I think it's really cool, though. So, let's exit build mode. And they want me to return to first person camera. That's fine with me. I actually prefer this camera. Press F1 to view the world map. When you're done viewing, press escape. So, the world's actually huge. Uh, this map really won't show that, but uh, there is a lot of time between these cities. You know, typical to a train game, there should be a lot of railroad tracks. So the main focus of this game is the global market. We want to buy low, sell high, and be a merchant, essentially. We can also kill things. Uh, we can go on the contract, bounty missions, things like that. It wants me to head to the station now. I think the station... Well, it did spawn me on a different road, so I'm not really sure where the station is. It might all be all the way over there. Um, I'm just gonna collect some of these gems. I have no idea what these things do, by the way, but they're gems. They should be important. So there should be somewhere in the city. There it is, there it is. Okay, break, break, break. Uh, at least the passengers or the ordinary vehicles, they try and avoid you. The, the trains, though, they don't, they don't give a damn. All right, so this is the, uh, the station. So we can actually check out the settlement here and upgrade our train here. This is as simple as it gets. We do not get out of our train. We just go to these things and drop off 
cargo and upgrade. So let's go to the settlement and see what's going on. And that actually ended the tutorial as well. I just had to switch to my other side. So yeah, we're done the tutorial. It was very quick. And now we're in Horn. So this is a city with a size of 301 and the owner is a corporation. Uh, they produce wood here. Their stock, as you can see, is a lot of wood. Now the needs for upgrade, I'm assuming that's for them to upgrade. Uh, I'm not really sure if I can upgrade. I think I can maybe upgrade the settlement, though. I don't know. I'm still learning the game, obviously, as we go. So, this is where we can get our missions, though. We can do cargo missions. We can go to any of these places, and we get that sum when we deliver the cargo there. There's also kill missions and passenger missions, but I do not have passenger cars yet. Let's actually go check out the train and buy some of these things. So, we can have cargo wagons, repair wagons, turret wagons, all that fun stuff. Uh, even booster wagons and radar wagons. Now, we currently have 1945 coins, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. I do want to get the repair wagon, though. I think that's gonna be smart, considering I am not very good at avoidance. So let's buy that. That also gave us a tech upgrade where we can upgrade the car, or I guess you could call it the train, whatever you want to call it, the hyper train. Let's call it that. Uh, and this is going to allow us to drop the cargo costs of the wagons. Also, we have carbon no no nozzle, reduces turret cooldown by 50%. That's actually really good. And then increases first visit bonuses by 20%. That's really tempting as well. But I do want to buy some cargo wagons right now, so I think this is going to be worth it, and we should get an upgrade uh, to maybe do the True Explorer one very, very soon. Uh, but I do also want to unlock that radar wagon, which is clearly on the top bar. Anyways, let's buy... Uh, how much money do I got? 637. I don't really know what else money is for, so I'm just going to buy that for just now. We have three cargo slots, and that should be all we need. Let's go back into the set settlement and accept one of these quests. Oh, and now it actually shows four cargo instead of three, so it's because of my cargo limit is what they're allowed to sell me. So, with that in mind, let's actually get out of this, go back, and we may as well buy that other cargo wagon. Hell, I could buy another one if I really wanted to, but uh, I do want to save a little bit of money. Oops, wrong button there. Let's go back, and okay, so some of them are, are actually four, other ones are actually five. So we may as well do a five one. I'm gonna go and say Twello? Let's try Twello out. Now, the base sum is based on distance, so obviously this is really tempting, but it's all the way across the whole area, and I kind of want to see what Twello has. So let's do some short haul missions right now. So we're gonna go to Twello, and... The one downside of this game is there's no way to really understand where you are. It really does need a compass or something because, uh, yeah, we're currently here. We have to go to Twello, so it's it's simple enough. It's our neighbor. We have to go to the east, but if we look here, I have no idea where the east is. That might be what the, uh, the arrow at the top is, north, south, east, and west, and I'm thinking that's actually what it is. So, now we gotta figure out how to get to the east. It should actually be maybe up on this, uh, road up here, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna try and hit up that. We'll see if we can hit it. So we're gonna take a little turn here, take a little turn here. There we go. We don't wanna hit anything, so we definitely wanna slow down a little bit. And we'll just get a little bit ahead of this guy, and then we'll switch to our other side, and it looks like we got a fellow hyper train driver there. And we're gonna go up on this very dangerous road. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys, this is procedurally generated, so the roads are totally random. Uh, horn is up, sir, go slow. Okay, so actually, we're going into the mountains here. I just want to make sure, is this the right way? No, we're going the exact opposite way. So, I guess that's the one way we can tell. We can look at the arrow on here, and we can see exactly which way we're going. So, if we flip this around, the arrow should flip. It didn't flip the other way, so it's hard to tell really where we're going. Let's see if it flips now. Yes, we just have to move a little bit, and then it shows our direction. So, at least I know that. So, we got to go down this road, actually. So, let's just uh, take our time here. I don't want to go too crazy. What are you doing, dude? Just go. Okay, and uh, we might be able to actually speed up a little bit here soon, but oh, this game is just... I love... Oh, my God, how simple it is and beautiful it is. Yeah, we do have a little bit of a traffic jam, unfortunately, and I guess this is where building would come in handy. Uh, I kind of want to shoot these guys, but we know what happened last time I did that. Actually, I'm going to go over here, shoot this guy, because he... Oh, I think I just hit my own craft. Can I shoot him? Come on, man. All right, looks like we actually can get in over here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I did do a little bit of damage there. Oh, I hate the traffic jams in this game. Finally, we got out of it, though, so we can uh, spread our wings and fly or train. This might actually be going back into the city, though. It's hard to say. I'm going to... I'm thinking that's the road I need to be on. It... Oh, God damn it. 
What is this, like, rush hour right now? I've never experienced this much traffic in this game. Obviously, we're at a pretty big city, though. So, yeah, I think I actually got to go on that road. It's very hard to say here. Yeah, it looks like we're going back in. So, oh, God. That's the road guaranteed. I, I need to get the hell out of this city. This is bothering me already. There, there is real traffic jams in this game, guys. All right, so... We're heading back in, but that's not what I want to do. I'm just going to flip over to this one. And here we go, up on another shady road. Okay, this better be it. I'm hoping I'm right. And what do we got going? Okay, there's brakes in the road. We got to be very careful. What does start even mean? Start what? Oh, God. Uh, I don't even know what I just did. Clearly, there's like mini games on the roads as well. Uh, corkscrew coming up. Okay, that's uh, a little scary. Let's just slow down here. I just want to make sure... Yes, we're indeed going the Trello. That feels good. All right, we're going to get paid today, and uh, hopefully we don't die on our way there. Let's actually go to the uh, outboard view. I just, I love how simplistic this game is. It, there, there's nothing crazy about it, but it's freaking beautiful. All right, get the hell out of my way. I should probably just shoot these guys. I don't know what these gems do. I'm assuming, ooh, do they, it looks like they might speed me up. I might be crazy. Oh, yeah, they, okay, okay, they definitely speed me up. I don't even know if I want to do this. But we're doing it anyways. And here we go into a freaking corkscrew. Damn it. Oh, no. Where do I... So if you hit something, you do respawn and you get damaged. It looks like we're still on the same road, just a little bit further back. So clearly, let's slow down around corkscrews. So yeah, this game's based off of... Uh, it's... Uh, oh, God. Okay, it's a good thing we slowed down there. But it's based in 2071, and it's kind of like it's post-apocalyptic. Well, not really apocalyptic, but basically, civilization is in chaos. These these hyper-train drivers run the world, and it's a very competitive business. It's kind of like being in a gang or something like that. So, I, I, I love it. I love the whole story behind this. I love the art style, and it's a very difficult game, which is nice. All right, so we're making our way. Looks like it is going to be coming daytime here. Now, I don't know what the top left means. I'm assuming it's like a competition against other hyper train drivers. Not totally sure, though, so don't quote me on that one. Caution, sir. Road hazard. Slow down. Okay, yeah, let's definitely slow down. This this road, somebody needs to fix this damn thing. Oh, my God. What is going on? What are you going to do? Okay, so we have a loop coming up, and it looks like that could possibly be the city down there. I uh, actually don't really like this camera now that I've been using it. Slow down, slow down. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Look at it. What kind of train is this? This is great. All right, let's go back into the camera here. Oh, my God. That's so much easier. Okay, we're going to stick with this camera. Sir, we're about to encounter a spiral. All right, thank you, OBC. Holy Jesus. Okay, I, I broke something, but that's fine. I totally just destroyed that guy. My God, that is a corkscrew if I've ever seen one. Let's boost up. At least I can see in front of me now, so I'm not too worried about hitting something. But it's always scary when you go up those hills. And we're basically right sideways now, guys. Is this, is this ever going to end? All right, we, we can definitely speed up, though. Let's give it some boost. And it looks like the fastest I can go is about 500 right now. I know you can buy upgrades to speed up your train, so that's pretty cool. But I'm pretty comfortable going about this speed, at least for right now, until I get a little bit better in the game. Okay, is this... Oh, my God! Jesus Christ, dude. Is this it? All right, I expect the Trello to be a bit bigger than this, but this is clearly a settlement. And first time visiting Trello. What the hell? Where's the city? Health and power restored. Thank God. All right, let's go in here. Yes! There we go. We did our first mission. What, what, what does ownage mean? What the hell? There's an ownage bonus? Maybe I should have killed things. So we earned 267 buccaronis with that. And now we got some fish we can uh, transport if we do want to. Uh... Oh, I can claim this? Become the owner of the settlement. Goods are reserved for the owner. Also, the owner gets an ownage bonus for each completed mission. Okay, so that's the ownage bonus. I thought it was like ownage, like actually like killing people or something. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, okay, so we're, that's a little bit too expensive for me right now. I should probably do another simple mission here. Unfortunately, we do not have any passenger trains or anything. So, we're definitely going to have to earn a lot of money right now to uh, get some of these upgrades. We can, I mean, we could buy a cargo wagon. You know what? I, I have a thousand coins. I, I just forgot we have a welcoming bonus as well. So, that helps out a lot. I'm going to boost up our cargo. We're going to focus on cargo right now. And we unlock the next tech upgrade, which we're going to do True Explorer because we're going to visit a lot of new cities. And the more money we get, the better. We actually earn more money just by our visiting bonus than anything else. 
So, there we go. Let's go back into the settlement here and see what we want to do. So we can do seven now. Damn. It's really tempting to do one of these crazy ones like Elmir. 4,000 freaking dollars. But I think it's smarter to do the close ones. That way we visit a bunch of towns and get paid a lot of money. So let's do Hengelo. It's nice and close, or it should be, and uh, we should get a, another major bonus. We have to go to the west, though. That's all it's really going to tell me, so let's go to the west. My god, you're a big train. Let's actually, how's our train doing? You can see we're a lot bigger now. So that, I think that's the way back, right? So we got to go this way a little bit further, and we can see where we can go from here. All right, so we do have a, a ramp over here that we can go down. I want to see where this road goes then. Uh, I really wish you could zoom in here. So this is going, I think this is, oh God, that scared me. Uh, I think this is going the right way here. looks like, oh, we got a little bit of a traffic jam. I wonder if I can kill them. If, if that's the case, I might want to get a bunch of weapons and just try and loot people. Oh God. Okay, buddy. Thank, thank you for stopping. And excuse me. Excuse me. Damn it. Corkscrew coming up. All right. Thank you on board computer. I do appreciate that. All right, we got uh, quite a bit of splits here. What the hell is going on with that road? All right, let's actually see. What are we doing here? What does it look like? We're definitely spinning around. Mind you, whatever way we go, it's really not going to matter because it's about the same distance as a square. So I'm just trying to get back. Ooh, is this? Did I just go to Big Circle? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably Trello or Twello. Yes. All right, so screw it. We're just going to go up this thing, and this should take us to the next area. Uh, at least, oh my god, at least hopefully. Okay, but here we go. It seems like connecting these things together speeds you up. So if you really want to get somewhere fast, this is the way to do it. You can also use your boost, of course. And it really, oh god, you almost killed me. It isn't that bad when crazy passengers don't try and kill you. So, whoa, what? Oh, that must be the shadow. I thought, I thought that was an explosion or something. Oh, yeah, look at this, though. I, I am skilled, to say the least. Let's see how we're doing here. So, yeah, we're going to Maastricht. We can probably stop off there and get an extra bonus. But now we got to head to the west. So we got to figure out... Oh, I hate you so much. These damn damaged roads are very, very dangerous. So uh, it's a good thing we got that repair vehicle. I'm assuming it's doing the repairs. You can see my, uh, my the health of my train. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing we are on the right road there. And, oh my god, is this a stop? What the hell kind of stop is this? Is this it? Uh, oh no, that's just one of the start signs to do like a mini game or something. All right, I don't really want to do a mini game. I'm all about transferring cargo right now. So, ooh, we're going to a new road. Where is this? So this is either going to take me to the west or not. I guess we're gonna find out. It's always scary going fast, especially on these tight roads. Uh, what do we got going on here? So there's a there's a flip off. It's telling me to slow down. All right, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit. What is this one? This must be uh, the one that we're going to hit. We're gonna get a nice little bonus here. Uh, unfortunately, I did miss it though, so I gotta back this up a little bit. Cause these uh, stop points are a little bit picky. You have to be basically directly underneath it. There we go. First time of Maastricht. We received a welcome bonus. Of $960. What the hell is the point of cargo when you have something like this? So yeah, we got Maastricht here. I guess we can upgrade the train some more. Uh, should I save for some passenger wagons? I feel like passengers would be fun to try. So yeah, I think I'm just going to save my money. We have to continue going anyways. And we have to make it to the next zone. Oh, you almost killed me. You almost freaking killed me, dude. Uh, Alright, so it's looking like I'm heading to the east right now. I need... Oh, my God! Hello? Jesus Christ. What was... Wait, wait, wait to give me a heart attack, dude. Wait to give me a heart attack. So, yeah, I think I understand the arrow now. That is definitely a compass. It just doesn't have compass, uh, like, inscriptions or anything. So, as long as we head to the west, which we are doing right now, this should be the right way. Oh, my God. Is that a traffic jam? That is definitely a huge freaking traffic jam. So, you know what? That's when my weapon comes in handy. <laughs> Just, I'm just going to blow up everything in front of me. Welcome to 2071, guys, where people don't really care about your feelings. Just get the hell out of my way. I have places to be. Thank you very much. This is why we should have one lane going one way, one lane going the other way. It just doesn't work this way. Okay, that's another hypercar driver. I don't want to hit these guys. They kind of scare me now. And I'm thinking, actually, we might need to go this way. Did we go to Big Circle again? What the hell is this place? I feel like we definitely went to Big Circle again. 
No, health well, health and power was restored, but yeah, we have to leave, we didn't get a bonus. So we are at Maastricht soon. So it's a big circle. It seems like most of them are big circles. I'm thinking I have to actually go on this road over here. So we'll take it and we'll see where it takes me. I feel like this is a road I've been on. Maybe I'm crazy. All the roads are similar in this game though. So we'll see which way. Okay, we're unfortunately going the wrong way. We're, I, I, I don't wanna go to Penis. I wanna go to Hengelo. All right, bring it on. Give me all these delicious gems. Still have no idea what these things do aside from maybe boost me, but uh, we're still learning. Course through coming up. Thank you on board, computer. I do appreciate it. And this has been a nice road. It's been a nice little drive so far. Oh God, I just saw a tree in the road. That's a bad sign though. Okay, we're going up a huge, oh, dude, Jesus. We're going up a huge hill there. It's always scary to see what's on the other side. This time, oh my God. And uh, just so you know, the hills actually affect your speed. So if you go downhill, it's much, much faster. All right, corkscrews. I've, I've made the mistake of going through these fast before. We're gonna, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that those purple gems definitely boost you. I don't know what the blue ones do. We're about to encounter a corkscrew. All right, I, I still, I don't think I've seen a corkscrew when you keep warning me about them. I mean, unless it's way ahead, I, I think my computer might be a little bit faulty because I'm not seeing any corkscrew. You guys? Okay, yeah, way up ahead. Why do you let me know, like, 500 feet ahead? Hangalo is up. Okay, did, did I actually just pass it? No, incoming transmission. What? Marauder? You have entered a Marauder territory? Damn it! Damn it! Why are we upside down? Those damn corkscrews just really screw you up. Oh, we're going the wrong way now, I think. Okay, so let's go back. We, we were in Mar Marauder territory? Oh, they're still shooting me. They are still... Okay, we're just gonna have to speed by, I think, because I think there's multiple ones on the road just camping there. So this is kind of dangerous, but I kind of like it. It's kind of exciting. This is uh, this is bad territory to be in. So, oh my god, they're shooting so much. I just want to make sure I do this corkscrew right. And, okay, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Unfortunately, we're just gonna start shooting some of these guys. I have no idea who's bad, who's good. I just need to get this guy the hell out of my way. There we go. Oh my god, I'm being so damaged. Get the frig out of my way! Get out of my way, I got to damage you! There we go. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm trying to go. I'm so damaged. I think my engine's broke. Yeah, we're having engine problems here. Wow, these guys are real jerks. Okay, I'm trying I'm trying to bob and weave at this point. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a repair. We survived it, but they can still definitely shoot me, so let's keep going. No, are you serious? I tried to shoot them. Why are you guys stopped on the road? Okay, I think we're back at the dangerous part now, so, yeah, let's just get through quick these guys are just camped here they, they have they have like they broke the road that's some dangerous shit right there that was actually really really cool okay so I, I damaged my car a little bit but it's a lot better than last time and it looks like they're uh still true oh okay <laughs> the road ended holy crap some of this road is dangerous man and clearly we have rebels on the roads as well all right but look at that we made it the marauders couldn't even affect us First visit of Hengelo. We received a welcome bonus of $1,000. They're still shooting me. They're still freaking shooting me. All right, let's get that. There we go, 369 buckaronis in the bank. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And uh, we had a speed of bonus of times one. So I'm assuming if we can get here fast, we get an extra bonus. That's pretty cool. All right, looks like these guys produce clay. So that's pretty cool. I think I should maybe get another missile here. We have $2,000. I kind of want to get the passenger wagon as well. You know what? I think this is actually a good spot to stop. And I want your input. What do you guys think I should get? Uh, do you want to see more cargo? Do we want to run a cargo empire? Or do you want to see a nice mixture of these things? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys. Oh, what? 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 What the, what? What the hell just happened? Oh, I, th I think they were just shooting me. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. This is, once again, Hyper Train. If you want to know anything more about it, links will be in the description. And, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think it's absolutely cool. It's got a lot of unique features and jerks that like to snipe me from all the way across the map. So, yeah, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.